Christmas, Southwest. Selena here with your kids spotlight. Turn to someone beside you and say, Merry Christmas. Today is the third Sunday of Advent, a season where we prepare to celebrate the unique arrival of Jesus as a baby in a manger. Last week, we started at the beginning of the story by remembering the promise God made to Abram many centuries before Jesus's arrival. All nations on earth will be blessed because of you. God's rescue plan for Israel and the world was well on its way. God has never left us his creation without hope. He carried this promise from generation to generation through the family line of Abraham to David and onward. Remember, he loves us, wants what is best for us, and the dream of his heart is to have each of us be part of his family today. Our scripture reading will bring us into the life of a young Jewish lady, excitedly preparing for marriage, dreaming of what the future might hold, but little did she know what God had planned. As we read our scripture today, I invite you to close your eyes and imagine yourself within the account. If you want to, you can also grab something that you can write or draw with so you can note what stands out to you. Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. In the sixth month after Elizabeth had become pregnant, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee. He was sent to a virgin. The girl was engaged to a man named Joseph. He came from the family line of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel greeted her and said, The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. Mary was very upset because of his words. She wondered what kind of greeting this could be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high God. The Lord God will make him a king like his father David of long ago. The son of the most high God will rule forever over his people. They are from the family line of Jacob. That kingdom will never end. How can this be? Mary asked the angel. I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come to you. The power of the Most High God will cover you. So the Holy One that is born will be called the Son of God. Your relative, Elizabeth, will have a child, even though she is old. People thought she could not have children, but she has been pregnant for six months now. That's because what God says will always come true. I serve the Lord, Mary answered. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Then the angel left her. Could you imagine receiving news like that? What would your reaction be? Talk about it. Mary was willing to trust God. She trusted that God keeps his promises, and we can too. Because what God says will always come true. 
On the kids page of our website, you can find resources that you can use as a family to grow closer to Jesus together. We'll see you next week, Southwest. <laughs>